for our announcements this morning. Uh, a lot of things. I just got an email last night from Pastor Charlie of Epworth United Methodist Church and at Epworth, 501 Morgan Avenue in Palmyra. They're going to have a, it'll be in your bulletin next week, they're going to have a COVID-19 vaccine clinic. All vaccines will be available. No appointment necessary. Walk-ins welcome. First dose, Saturday, August 21st. Second dose, Saturday, September 18th. Nine to noon. So, and but again, I have this in, and this will be sent out for you know for next week. Amen, amen. So again, uh, vaccine is is very important and being made available by, by our good friends and efforts in that Methodist Church. Amen. Our good neighbor outreach continues a lot of activity again uh, this, this, this past week. Amen. I'm shifting to our uh, to our time of, of prayer. You have prayer cards in your pews. If you have a special request, just uh, fill it, uh, place it, and uh, write it out on the prayer card and place it in the offering plate. And, uh, or you can bring it up to the altar and, uh, and, and place it there and it'll be prayed for it during the week.
is a little more size. Lord, we love you in each and we thank you that you are a God that answers the prayer of the faithful. And we thank you, Lord, that even when it, it seems like you're not answering in the way that we have asked or, or requested, Lord, we thank you that you give us the, the power to endure. And God, dependence upon you In your name we pray. God, as I open my word, I hear, I see, fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. God, we pray for a open. There's so many hot spots and literally the fires in California, God. The trouble in Afghanistan for our friends in Haiti and Cuba, Lord. Just so many needs right now. And Lord, you know what they are. And, and, and Lord, we, we, we ask you for mercy. Lord, we ask you for forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, I say to me for everyone here and everyone listening. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. We just say special prayers, Lord, for Linda, for Mary Ann, for Morgan, for Mike, for Judy, for John and Shirley, for Gwen, for Sharon, for Dick and Nancy, for our nation, for our president and vice president, Joe Kamala, for the Boston family, for Natalie, for Rich and Sweeta, for Carl, for Rare and Howard and Thelma, for Naomi, for Shirley and Joe, for Pat and Joe, for Barry and Nita, for Peggy and Ray, for our good neighbor neighbors, for Brian, for Amanda, for Teresa, Michelle, for Dawn. We pray that you will make a way. For our annual conference, for our Bishop John, for our DS Hector, for extremely serious yet unspoken needs this morning. While on others that are calling, Lord, do not pass us by. Lord, I hold up my right hand, and I pray that anybody else would want to hold up your right hand this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you are holding us. You are holding us, Lord. You are holding us. I will hold your right hand, your word says. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, you will hold our right hand. You will hold us with your righteous right hand. It's in your name. So many things, Lord, that just, that just need prayer this morning. Help us to be your followers as your adopted children, Lord, sons and daughters, born anew, born again in you. Lead us and guide us. It is in your name we pray. We pray for first responders. We pray for those who serve in the military. We love you and we need you. And as you have taught us, Lord, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. 
Tonight is the kingdom. 